a secular elite in the academic, news media, and judicial areas. And I frankly believe it's important to have some leadership that stands up and says enough. We are truly guaranteed the right of religious freedom, not religious oppression by the state. Now, a bunch of polls released today have Mitt Romney leading in Florida, but those polls are already obsolete because of what happened last night. Talking Voice does expect Mitt Romney to win Florida, with Newt Gingrich coming in second, Rick Santorum and Ron Paul distant third and fourth. Of course, I could be wrong, but that is the trend line right now. Once again, there really isn't much difference among Romney, Gingrich and Santorum on the issues. They all want to lower taxes, shrink the government, promote capitalism. It is a matter of style, not substance, in the Republican sweepstakes. Tonight on The Factor, we'll look at the immigration brouhaha with Geraldo, the money factor with Lou Dobbs, and the press component with Bernie Goldberg. Also, we have a BillOReilly.com poll question for you. We're asking, has The Factor been fair in covering the campaign so far, yes or no? Given the results on Monday, it's a very lively poll. One footnote, we well understand that Ron Paul supporters don't like us because we think Congressman Paul is out there and would never be able to govern the country because his belief system is so unorthodox. While the congressman does have some good ideas, he also has frightening ideas. And he will not be much of a factor from now on, pardon the pun. All in all, last night's debate helped Mitt Romney, I believe. The governor has to feel better today. And that's a memo. Now,